Hey, 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 hey. How you doing, Anthony Ferro here at Crate Sci-Fi? All right, so it's part two of our uh, second Kit Bash Dollar Source spaceship. Today we're gonna fly this sucker. Right now, um, this is the second time I, I've done one of these. It's a little better than the first one. Still got a long way to go. And um, what I was saying about this series, what I really like is that, um, and most of my tutorials uh, that I share with you, it's things I've done and over the years I've figured out uh, best practices and DIY ways to do things. And I share that with you. With this, this is fun because I'm learning as I go. Practical spaceships, you know, um, I think I know how it works, you know, but you know, as you get hands on, things are different. And definitely after this experience, I feel closer, but I still <laughs> don't feel there yet. But what we're gonna do now is we're gonna shoot some footage of this and then we're gonna comp it and uh, we're gonna try to make a, a pretty cool like 70 style spaceship flyby. <laughs> All right, so first thing we got to do is uh, grab some footage of this. So let's go over to the wall there where I have the curtain and we'll shoot some footage of this. All right, so the first thing I need to do is put some kind of mounting uh, pivot on here. So I'm just taking a drywall screw and I'm just screwing it into the bottom here. I have this pretty neat arm, this flexible arm that I got at a photo supply store. And I'm gonna use this as uh, the main armature to, to pose my spaceship. So now I have a black, like I said, I'm trying this on the black instead of the green. I have some ideas about how this works and it's not gonna work out the way I hoped, but it's a process so now I have uh, these China balls so I can adjust my lighting just a China ball on a dimmer and this is a little grainy here just because I uh, up the uh, the uh, light in the camera just so you could see what I was doing and here I'm just taking my handheld um, iPhone rig. And as you do it, you know, if you watch enough sci-fi, you kind of know how these things are supposed to move. Um, ideally, again, learn. Uh, next time I will do it with a slider. <laughs> And like I said, you know, this is a process. So um, for sure, next time I'm going to shoot that on green like I did originally. I wanted to try something different with the black. Um, as you'll see, that, that gives some problems to me. And then um, I've done the handheld twice now. Uh, so I think next time I'm, I'm just gonna use the slider. And what's really funny and interesting is that, you know, I've watched a lot of videos of people doing this and you know, you try things and you think you have shortcuts, but until you get hands on, it's feeling like I'm just gonna end up uh, doing the tried and true way to do it. I don't know <laughs> why I felt the need to reinvent the wheel, the space wheel. But anyway, so now we have that footage and we're gonna bring it into Premiere. All right, so you know, I have editing tutorials on my site and I'm not gonna go into detail about that, but all I'm doing is I'm watching the footage and I'm just uh, grabbing selects. What I like to do is do this in phases, right? So I'll grab, you know, twice as many shots as I need and then, uh, you know, so it's less to look at. So then I start looking at those and then I'll highlight the ones that I like. I'll just, you know, in this case, I'm just highlighting them red. And then I take all those shots and it's the best one wins, right? And I start messing around till I get something that I think works. And now I have my core sequence, right? So this is what we're going to comp into outer space. Okay. So again, you know, a little foreshadowing, uh, the black is, is not gonna work out the way I hoped, but still you gotta carry on. And that's part of DIY is, you know, overcoming obstacles. Just, you gotta deal with the hand that you're dealt, right? So now I have that uh, footage that I cut my little sequence, and now we're going to uh, go into After Effects and start comping that into an actual flying spaceship. Okay, first you just wanna head over to Google and find a star background. Uh, I just make sure that I search for something really high resolution um, and then bring that into your project. All right, so now well, what I'm gonna do here, I, I, you'll see that I cut this out, but I'm just gonna skip this because it didn't work. But basically, when I add this, like I thought I would, you see the stars right through the image. So that's not gonna work. So right away, my theory, what I wanted to do is on the black with After Effects, you can, um, 
you can comp things and the black will go away, but I was having an issue where the stars were coming through my spaceship. So right out of the gate, my theory was wrong. Um, so now <laughs> um, I decided to keep doing the video because this is what DIY filmmaking is all about. I, I have to make this work. Now, in this case, I have to make it work for this video, so it's not life and death. But if I was making uh, some sort of film on a budget or I had people depending on me or deadlines, I would just have to make this work, right? So ideally, in the, in the next one, I'm going to do it <laughs> more refined. But in this case, let's just take a look at what I had to do to fix this and to make it work. So the first thing I'm gonna have to do is I'm going to have to rotoscope out um, this model, which kind of defeats the purpose of shooting it on a background, but <laughs> that's why we shoot on green. So now I duplicate this layer and what I'm doing is I'm rotoscoping this out and what I'm gonna do is create like a shadow, an underneath layer, so that um, when I transfer the main image, instead of having the stars underneath it, it's going to have uh, this black sort of cut out, this shadow. So I soften that um, just so that it's not in your face and that's just gonna ride underneath. And you see here, I'm gonna pop this underneath my image and now it's no longer transparent. And you know, that gives us what we're looking for. So now we have that working on our star field. So um, that just happened in about, I don't know, 20 seconds, but in real life, it was like a whole day where I was just figuring out what the heck am I gonna do? So that was my solution. So now we're back to the comp. All right, so what I do now is I bring in the stars and now I have the stars back there and now we wanna just, um, you know, we wanna make them work with our image. So the first thing I'm gonna do is add some noise to this, right? Because uh, that's a pristine background. Our, our image is very noisy because it was low light. And now I'm just going to, um, you know, I adjust these stars by eye and I just do a very slow one keyframe push to give it the, the look of movement. So now I'm gonna motion track my engines because I wanna put a flare on there. And the flare is just going to sort of bring those to life, make it look like heat. Uh, it's a very easy way to do this. Uh, it's not an After Effects tutorial, I'm just showing you the steps that I did. I can show you this at another time. I think when I do the, the proper one, um, I'll, I'll go more into depth on this. But basically what I'm doing is I'm putting little flares uh, for each of these engines and they're tracked, right? Because so, we did that motion tracking. So now this light will follow our ship no matter where it goes. We have those stars moving. we got a little bit of noise on those stars and we have the flares in the engines. So that just reads to us, okay, these engines are heated up and um, there's some power and it's movement, right? So here you see that all follows along and you know, that looks good. The stars are moving. The engine light is going. <laughs> All right, so now we are where we want to be. We're time traveling into the 70s, right? We got our engines working. We got our stars moving. Our star field matches um, the grain of our main image. So now, because this is muddy, and like I said, we're just trying to make it work so it's not ideal. Um, it's always, um, when you're trying to hide the crimes, it's always about layering, right? So now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to do some color correction and maybe some enhan enhancements, some chromatic apparition, maybe some noise, really uh, extreme color. And I find that really helps, right? Now to do that, I have Magic Bullet. Magic Bullet is my favorite plugin. It's an After Effects plugin um, and you get some crazy looks. It, it's kind of expensive, so I don't really want to do a tutorial on it. It's the sort of thing where if you want to uh, go down the rabbit hole, I'll put a link for Red Giant below. And what I did here is I just added some chromatic apparition and some really extreme, really fun colors. So now I'm going to export this. And then once that's exported, we're gonna bring it back in and we're gonna do some sound design. Um, I have other videos where I go into depth about doing uh, basic sound design for sci-fi and I also have links in those videos to um, a great resource called freesound.org where you can get some free sounds. So uh, I'm gonna do a little sound design to this and let's go ahead and watch uh, the final clip. All right, let's roll it.
<laughs> I mean, wasn't what I wanted, it, but it's still fun, right? So again, this is just process. I'm, I'm teaching myself how to do this. I, I still, I, I, I feel very close, right? I feel like. I had an idea, what I thought was a better idea, it was a worse idea, so it was one step forward, one step back, but now I think I have a really good understanding and I'm really excited. I'm gonna have to do one more of these, right? So for the third one, when I, when I do another one, um, I'm not gonna use um, modern airplanes to kit bash the spaceship, right? Because I feel subtextually, you just, you know, you're imprinted. You kind of know what those silhouettes are. So I, I've been seeing some cool videos online. I would just want to use, um, you know, like kitchen top appliances and interesting things and, and bottles. So uh, I'll do that. And then on a well-lit green screen with a slider right i haven't done the slider yet I'm, I'm gonna do a slider and again you know um there's ways around that financially i'll probably borrow a slider or maybe we'll rig one up diy style but we'll figure it out but that was fun and hopefully you know me going through the process with you helps you uh to think about things and if you have any ideas or if you want to share uh your experiences doing this sort of thing make sure to comment below all right well, as always, I hope you found this video useful. Please like, share, subscribe, leave a comment. Love to read the comments. Check out our merch shop. We got hats, we got shirts. Pick up one of those, it really helps the channel. And remember, I'm just here to help make sci-fi. <laughs> Let's watch it one more time. <laughs>